I'm keeping my gloves on. <laughs> it got colder than what it was this morning. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. You'll probably see this Sunday, yep. tomorrow. Today's Saturday. And what else can we do on a weekend but come out here and, and start doing some gardening? Yeah, so er early morning Saturday, actually. So it's a, it's a little bit dark. Uh, the sun's not quite all the way out yet. Um, but yeah, we just uh, came out very early, had a lot of fun, had our coffee, um, did some Watch the sun here. come yeah. up. I, that's one of the things that I love from this little area. We get to see how it's on the north side. You can see right, right yeah. to the east of us and we can just see it come up and it's just so pretty every morning oh, yeah. drinking our coffee. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to come out and show you a little of what we're doing. Um, we will be showing videos on the exact things that we're doing, like the pruning of the panicle hydrangeas, um, the limelight, yep. um, and the trees yeah, as so, well. Yeah, so we did some pruning with the roses, uh, the limelights, Angie was doing uh, the other limelight, and then the, the tree form, uh, little lime hydrangea. Yeah. Um, then I did the, the, the trees back here, but uh, like I said, we have videos to all that we can link down below. We're definitely going to do another video just so we can, you know, revitalize and review what, what we've done in the past for these and hydrangeas. It, and if you need it, like right now, yeah, Ambrose you, will go ahead and link the ones from last year. That way you can yeah, definitely. get to it. <laughs> so, um, okay, let's talk a little bit. Uh, this is why I wanted to do the video today, too. Um, I want to go ahead and start talking about what we're taking. Um, yeah. So as we're taking care of things, so I don't we don't forget to share that. Um, you saw us cut back some of those um, prune some of the panicle hydrangeas. Yep. So we have three of the limelight trees. Yes. Hydrangeas, the panicle hydrangea trees. Those are coming with us. Yep. Um, so if you notice Ambrose pruning it so hard down, <laughs> it's because they're coming with us. Um, we are aware that we might not. Um, we might not be, well, we're, I'm just going to say it. We're probably not going to enjoy it at all, the, 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 the blooms on the hydrangeas. We've done this before, moves, um, moving, you know, um, in summer. <laughs> so we know what that's like. Yeah, we, we, we didn't prune them the last time because we moved one state over. Um, yeah. This time we're going about four or five states over. So it's going to be a longer drive for and longer time. at that um, around that time, they might start to put out bloom. Yeah. We might just cut off those blooms too, yep. um, because you know they're probably going to they're going to be in the U-Haul. It's going to get hot in there. They're going to be smushed. Yeah. Um, and we'll just not enjoy them. So if anything, just cut them off. Um, if there's any actual bloom, enjoy the bloom. Oh yeah. Indoors or pass them on to somebody to enjoy. 
um, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do with those. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, apart from that, when I mean, we we came out this morning and uh, taking a look around the garden and seeing what's popping up, and there's quite a bit of things already popping up. Spring is pretty much here. Um, you know, there's always that that worry of that last minute frost or that the one that sneaks up on you. But I think we're pretty well prepared this year with the uh, you know you saw us do the last video where we covered the hydrangeas with the frost proof um, cloth. Um, so that's going to help out those hydrangeas definitely. Yeah. And then just a bunch of other little stuff here that, that was planted. I would it's, say a little late in winter, the, the tulip bulbs and stuff like that, those those yeah, are starting to poke their heads because out. Because we, we weren't even sure if, if yeah. to plant anything. Um, last year around this time or every, what, three years that we've been here, yeah. I love to have this whole area just blooming with viola and pansies. And I didn't do that this year, and I'm missing it. But I didn't do it because we know we're moving. Yeah, so that's one thing we might actually go do today is go get some violas and pansies. We still uh, want to fill in so. some, maybe just the pots, things like that. But yeah. I was going around and uncovering some of the pots that, that we did do um, fill with bulbs. Yeah. Um, we put some, Angie put some moss over it for aesthetics, but uh, I think they, they're going to need a little bit more sunlight. So Angie went ahead and removed that stuff, hopefully. Also, not just for pretty the moss, but the birds. Oh yeah. They're looking, they're nesting, right? So they're starting to look for things to take, you know, to make their nest. So they love the moss. So that's why I always use moss. There's plenty of moss, moss around the home, but uh, around the area here, but they love to come into the garden and pick yeah. at things. They also like to pick, we have um, lemon coral sedum. Oh yes. And it's dead right now, you know. It, it comes back for us sometimes here, but all the dead from it, from you know, um, from through the winter, they, I've seen them use it. Yes. So I haven't cleaned that either. We're, we haven't really completely cleaned just yet. No, we still have quite a bit of stuff too. But but we haven't cleaned yet because we still have our little garden friends that yep. are you know still sleeping and they it's still a little cold. Oh yeah. So we're leaving that alone and just taking care of other things. Yeah. They've helped a lot in the garden. The frogs. They definitely helped a lot and I think they're angry the at me because <laughs> I haven't repaid them well. Uh, you saw me putting some seeds oh, in the, the bird feeder. And they get kind of angry because they're used to it. But, and, and we were talking about that the other day how, how you know, how bittersweet it's going to be when we leave because birds do get used to where they feed mm. and where they find shelter. And us being gone just in the middle of summer is going to be, it's going to kind of, it's not going to be that great for the birds, but I'm um, going to try to yeah. keep feeding them from here till then. Uh, with, with that shelter about the birds, I want to talk about um, the, the arbovites that yeah. we have along the fence here. So those arbovites, we went ahead and we got probably what two years ago is it going to be two years already yeah two years no three years ago um they're in containers yep. they've done amazing here they love water they love love water yep um they cost abovitis <laughs> 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 cost money um so that's something that i've really been thinking about and i think we're going to take them yep. now we're moving to texas these guys need a lot of water and I know that it can be a challenge to have our bovidae oh, yeah. in Texas. Um, I'm going to take them. I think we're going to take them and we can fit them in. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and just keep them hydrated. So some of the plants that we know how it is in Texas, the heat. Um, we're aware. But I want to still see if, if we can handle growing some things that we grew here. I yeah. don't want to go there and then rebuy things to experiment. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, if we already have them and we can actually fit them and take them, why not, right? Yeah. Um, and then we figure it out. Um, they've helped a lot with oh, the yeah. birds. They're wonderful for, for winter interest, all year yep. round interest. And the birds, they, they live in there. Oh, yeah. They love yeah. it. Um, yeah, so definitely something to think about to take. We have the, what are they, did you say the cypress? The cypress, no, we have the cypress, the, the blue Those point. Those would do great. Um, cypress in the front in that Texas. are going to do great in Texas. Um, and, and like Angie just said, taking the arbor vitae, it, it's going to be, um, I, I wouldn't say so much a challenge, but it's going to be a different type of gardening when yeah. we get there. And the water. The water. Yeah, water is yeah. going to be the challenge. Water is going to be the challenge. I think that's a fun part, taking on the challenge of that, because I, like we spoke on one of the other past videos, you know, how we, we know the drought thing um, back home, and we also yeah. know how there are certain days that you're not allowed to water. Um, yeah. So we're, it's going to, I see it fun trying to come up with ways to, to yep. save water for oh, the yeah, garden. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's going to be definitely fun, um, you know, and, and, and Besides all that, we do want to say thank you for everybody's comments on 
the last couple of videos. Uh, you know, we definitely miss uh, doing what we're doing out here, doing the videos and taking care of all the stuff that needs to be taken care of. And we appreciate all those comments. Uh, they're great comments. We, we you guys are wonderful, yeah. amazing. Thank you so, so much. It felt really yeah. good reading all of them. And, and you know, to know that uh, other people are going through it yeah. too. Um, it feels kind of weird talking about negative stuff and that's why one doesn't want to talk yeah. about it. But when I saw, you know, one of you actually said something like, I wish you would have spoken out about it sooner because you were going through it as well, mm -hmm. like really badly. And I felt like, man, that's why we should just talk yeah. and just yeah. be honest. Things happen. But right. happy to say that, you, you know, everything's going well and we're just super excited to get going. Yeah. Uh, anything else? No, that's it. We have so. a whole day full of stuff to do, like um, head over to um, garden centers to pick up some. We still haven't um, fertilized our roses. Yes. So we, there's, <laughs> there's a long checklist um, at the beginning of spring that, that we have to deal with right now. And that, that's, you know, oh, I hope that, I, that you guys didn't yeah. hear that. I moved the <laughs> so. mic. Uh, part of the checklist is getting fertilizer, getting some mulch. We haven't been able to mulch, but we want to mulch in here. We're just waiting for this maple to drop all its seedling so we can mulch and not worry about the little seedlings popping up. Um, so fertilizing mulch, more soil for plants here and there, some some uh, compost to take care of those roses that we're gonna you know, do some maintenance on. And um, you will be seeing us pulling out. We're waiting for all those little perennials we have to start popping yep. out so we can start taking them out and putting them in containers and figure out who's coming with us and who's going. So that's another video too. Yep. So, I mean, it's a long list of stuff. Yeah. Uh, some good videos coming up, um, plenty of things to, to show you guys. Um, but that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. We just wanted to pop in real quick and say hi yeah. and you know, show you what we're doing here in the garden as far as uh, maintenance yeah. before and spring. Hope that you guys are having an amazing time in your gardens. I know some of you northern uh, garden friends up there are still with snow and yeah. waiting and just, you know, it's coming, it's coming, spring's coming. And here yeah. it feels like it's coming very, very, very slow. But, but I'm okay with it being slow right yeah. now because we have a lot to do, so. Yeah. All right, so that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.